Hi everybody, this is Dr. Weideman and I'll be your professor for the MSC 201 Introduction to the Statistics course for this fall quarter. Let's take a few minutes to become familiar with our course and I'll go over the Blackboard course and I'll also go over the My Math Lab course. So in Blackboard course, um, you're going to see announcements on the front page when you first come in. And on the left toolbar, let's go ahead and click on Getting Started. So in the Getting Started uh, folder, there is an introduction to the course. There's a download. Um, this is basically what you're hearing in this message here. It is in a, in a handout format. But there's all kinds of information to help you get started in the course. Um, there's a link here to um, how to register in the My Math Lab course. I'm going to go over that with you in a second. There's a link to the Student Success Center and also to IT support. Let's go back up here to uh, getting started. Below getting started, let's click on the syllabus. And the syllabus is really important for you to read through and make sure you understand. So the syllabus goes over main aspects of the course. A couple things I want to point out to you. Um, here is my information and here's my office phone number. This is an online course and I don't have a physical office at Life University, but I do have student hours on Monday and Wednesday from 9.30 to 11 a.m. And you can contact me by email. We can talk on the phone. We can set up a Zoom session, whatever works for you during those times. If you need to meet with me other times, just email me or call me and we can set something up. So here's the course description. And this is important. Um, we're going to be using the My Lab, My Stat Lab program, and you need to purchase the 18-week access code, which you can get from the Canvas Bookstore. You can also purchase it directly from Pearson during the registration process. And I'll show you that in a minute when we go over the registration process. Um, if you go through, read the rest of the um, syllabus, it tells you important aspects of the course. Um, there is a nice week-by-week -week breakdown of what we go over in the course. Here's the way the grades are going to be uh, calculated for the course. Your discussions will count as 10% of your grade. Your MyStatLab homework, 25%. There'll be several of those assignments each week. There'll be weekly quizzes, 25%. You get two um, chances on the quizzes. You have a proctored midterm and a proctored final that are taken in the proctorio system. Those will be taken within Black the uh, Blackboard course. Your weekly assignments are due um, on usually on Sunday night. The only difference there is that the initial posting for the discussion must be posted by 11.59 on Friday night, and then your peer responses um, are due by 11.59 on Sunday night, and all the other assignments will be due by 11.59 um, on Sunday night. And then here's a description of the different assignment types. Um, here's the breakdown week by week of the assignments that you need to do, and then the graded assessments, learning and graded activities are shown over here. Now, right below this in the um, syllabus module, you'll see a weekly schedule of activities. And I think this is really helpful. You might want to print it out. It shows you week by week what you're going to work on and what the due date is. So I think this is a nice schedule for you to keep close to you um, as you're working through the course. So let's take a look at the weekly folders. And these are pretty much set up the same way. So if you take a look at week one, there'll be a little introduction that shows the learning outcomes. And then if you click on the weekly folder, it will tell you um, what the learning outcomes are for each section. There's always going to be a video that summarizes where we are and where we're going in the course. The same activities that are shown on that weekly assignment. And then there are handouts available for each section. Um, for week one, I want you to do the syllabus quiz to let me know that you've read the syllabus and understand it. The discussions are linked here. And then there's a conclusion at the end of each that goes over what we've learned, what you've learned, and how they're important in the coming weeks. Um, let's walk through the My Math Lab. So in order to get to um, register in My Math Lab, you're going to click on the My Math Lab tab right here. And when you do that, the first thing that you're going to see, now I've done this before, so I've already done the user agreement, but I believe the first thing that you're going to see is they're going to ask you to accept the user agreement. And then on the next page, you're going to see three options. If you've purchased your access code already, you'll click on access code and then another screen will come up where you put all the letters that are in that access code into the screen there. You can purchase your um, access code here. You want to purchase the 18-week access code right here. Or if you're waiting for financial aid, you can also get temporary payment without paying for 14 days and get temporary access. So there's no reason not to get registered right away the first week of the course. Now, once you get registered, um, you're going to see a page like this, and I'm going to encourage you to go to the Mastering My Lab and Mastering Course Home, because that will show you all the materials that are available to you within the My Stat Lab course that I've designed for us to work on this semester. And when you go there on the home page, you actually have a calendar, 
and you can um, see on this calendar, so if I click forward, I can set this up by two weeks, by one week, by a month, and this will also show um, when the course starts and when you have items that are due coming up. So you want to make sure that you take a look at the, um, oh, that's September, October. So you've got the first set of assignments are due on October 9th and October 16th and so forth. Um, so you want to maybe use this calendar to help you keep track of the assignments. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the modules here. So on the left-hand side, I've set up the weeks the same way they're set up in the Blackboard course. So for instance, week one, we're going to learn about an introduction to statistics in chapter one. And let's go back up here for a second. So here it tells you what the learning, what the different sections are we're going to cover and what your assignments are. And then within each of the sections here in chapter one, you can go into one of the sections and you have access here to some video presentations and you can also get the e-text. So if you'd like to look at the ebook, this is a way for you to do that. And then let's go back out to the main menu because most students like to go right away to their assignments. Let's take a look at the assignments page. So on the assignments page, I have linked for you uh, for each section, the section of the textbook and, and then also any videos or applets or activities that might be available. These are not graded, but a lot of students like to watch activities. And so I thought this would be helpful um, if you're interested in looking at those. And then also you don't have to search for where the um, um, uh, videos are because I know students do like the videos. So on the homework, you have unlimited attempts on the homework problems, and you can always go back even after the due date to rework homework. Um, the goal here is for you to learn the material, so I'd like you to uh, score as high as you can on the homework. Um, I want to point out for you to get to the quizzes, you need to get at least 60% on each of the homework assignments in that particular week in order to be able to take the test, or quiz rather. So if you see there's a little green flag there, it will keep track of which assignments you still need to work on to reach that 60% goal. Um, let's take a look at a homework problem, and I'm going to go to section 2.4. I'm going to show you, you have a lot of um, help in your homework problems, and i um, trying to see which problem I pulled up here. It looks like question number five, maybe. So I'm just randomly picking a homework problem, and I want to show you all the different tools that are available for you in the course here. So um, if you take a look here, I'm going to push this over a little bit, um, and if you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you have an option here that says get more help. So depending on the question, you have a lot of different options here. You've got sometimes an instructor tip, help me solve, it will help you solve this exact problem, but when you get finished going through that help, it's gonna regenerate the question with new numbers and you're gonna to have to start from the beginning. So if you're working a multi-part problem, which this one is, you might not wanna use that option because you'd have to start again when you finish. You and example will work a similar example um, the video is a video from the textbook that's related to the topic here. Um, some things have animations. You can go to the section of the textbook. Um, you can go to StatCrunch. Um, but I will tell you later, um, give you an example in a problem where you actually can get to this, the, the StatCrunch directly from the data sets. Um, tech help is not very helpful, so I'm not going to really urge you to use that very often because it'll give you a multitude of technical um, handouts for all different software packages. And then Ask My Instructor will create an email to me with this exact problem. And it's really helpful for me if you will tell me what you're having trouble with so that I can um, help you and guide you. If you just send me the question with now no information about where you're stuck, it, it's really hard for me to know. So um, here's the data for this particular problem. And as we work through the course, you'll understand this will make a little bit more sense. But you, once you open a data set up, either the data will show right here on the screen or you'll click on an icon to get to the data. There's another option here. And if you click on that, you'll be able to open it in the StatCrunch program. And this is a software package that's embedded within the MyStatLab program. And we'll be using it for a lot of the problems because it's a point and click um, statistical software that's very, very easy to use. And you look, it'll look like a spreadsheet in Excel, and you've got a bunch of different statistical commands up here, graphing commands, and so forth. And I have videos for you. Um, I'll go back and show you that in the Blackboard course, from starting from week two, where we use StatCrunch, that shows you how to use um, the program. So um, just a reminder, you have a proctored midterm and a proctored final, and those will be given in the Blackboard course, not in the um, um, my Stat Lab course. And uh, let me go back to the weekly lessons for a second and show you that, what I was mentioning before. So starting in week two, you will have um, access to StatCrunch videos. 
And these are videos that I made that show you how to create the tables and the graphs. And I also wanted to mention for the midterm and the final, there will also be a sample or prep, what I call preparation quiz in Blackboard to help you get ready to take your midterm and final. Um, it'll also show you how the questions will appear because you'll be taking it in Blackboard rather than in my stat lab. And so the questions are going to appear a little bit differently, but you'll have that prep quiz to help you get ready. Um, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, due dates for the quizzes um, and the midterm and the final are pretty firm unless there's an issue that comes up. Um, homework, like I said, you can go back to. Um, discussions, I'd also like you to get those done by the due date because they're really there to encourage interaction among students within the class. So I look forward to working with you this semester and don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions. Let's have a great semester.